Hey everyone, this is Marty. A little project I'm working on. Something completely new to me. This is a uh, Predator Harbor Freight um, 212 motor. They call this a trash pump. This one come with a, came with a two inch outlet up here. That's it's part of this seal coat trailer setup. Anyway, uh, I took the motor off uh, to check it out, and I took this outer pump housing off, and I found all kinds of stuff jammed up into here. In fact, I think I saved some of it. Uh, yeah, here it is. I found, like, Steel wool and rags must have gotten into the tank. There was even a piece of a drill bit in there. Anyway, I got that all cleaned out and um, got this part cleaned out somewhat. Should sandblast it, I don't know. Anyway, bolted it back up, got it started, and uh, it ran great. Well, then I. Uh, Got it put back on the machine over there. And one thing you gotta be careful with, with these uh, trash pumps, this is the outlet. It is very thin aluminum. And I know I got it here somewhere. Oh, I've been kicking that part around here. Well, if I find it, I'll show you. Anyway, I went to a wrench on one of these fittings and this, this housing just Broke, broke part. Fortunately, from Harbor Freight, it was available for 12 bucks. So I got that put back together. And it's kind of cobbled in here with a piece of rubber hose, but it seemed to work okay. I did have it, pump, it did pump water. But the problem was that after a few minutes, the motor died. And I opened it up. Uh, Tried to start it again, and it wouldn't even wouldn't even pull. Uh, there was uh, it was seized up, kinda. But what happened was you're not going to see this too well. There was there you go. See that muck? Water had gotten into the crankcase, and then it just heated up, and the steam on there was preventing the piston from traveling. So, anyway, emptied the crankcase out, was able to turn it over, but of course a bunch of that shit had gotten up past the, uh, the rings, and uh, so I had to pull the plug and uh, just pull this like furious to try and pump as much of the oil and water out of the, crank of the cylinder as I could. And eventually, after about 20, 30 tries, and uh, cleaning the spark plug every, se every several pulls with uh, carburetor cleaner and ether, I got it to pop. And then I was real happy once I got it to pop. So after about six more tries of cleaning the spark plug, hitting it with some ether in the, right down the plug hole, I got it to start, got it to run, and it ran fine as long as it did. But I let it, didn't run, let it run too long, and I uh, checked the oil again, and full of water again. So I've now drained all that out the second time. And uh, what I plan to do before I, oh, let me finish showing you this, I apologize. So this comes off real easily, the inlet, there's simply four bolts. And to get this, this pump off the trailer, it's best to just unbolt the inlet and unbolt the outlet. And the outlet is connected by a rubber hose up here. So that tilts out of the way. And then once you get the, the inlet, this lower one here, unbolted, the motor lifts right out of there. Pretty simple. Uh, so these four bolts, 
these four bolts, remove the inlet or the outlet and the inlet. And then there's four bolts on the outer rim of this flange for the pump housing. But so those those bolts come off, then this comes off. There's one bolt here that holds the the uh, impeller on, and I did. It was not conducive to a uh, puller, so what I did was I took a couple of chisels, and I found this strength part here, and this. Let me get my video here. Sorry about this. I'm not a cameraman. I lined up the impeller with the strength member on this flange, and I very carefully drove a thin chisel in there and on the opposite side, and I got it to move out. And I just slowly kept doing that until I got the impeller. Come on off there. There's so much tar in this damn thing. Here we go. So appears what appears to be going on is the seals are shot. Because when they pump that seal coat stuff from that tank, it's basically uh, tar and water and sand. There's a little bit of sand in it, so it's not slippery after they spray it down. And they had they had let that stuff. Let me get back up here. Oh, didn't want to do that. They had let the tar, the seal coat material, run down on this motor and get in between the uh, crankcase and this flange, and it just filled it up. And it probably pushed it out a little bit. And that, uh, I'm, I'm concerned that this shaft, let me see if I can focus here. I'm concerned that this shaft might be out of spec enough to where the new seals don't seal properly. But water was getting past past here. And I think the biggest issue is this is supposed to be the bottom. This is the bottom. So water that made it past the seals was supposed to leak out and it couldn't leak out. And so it was under pressure from the pump and it was forcing it into the motor. Well, after getting uh, making a call to Harbor Freight, let me focus up here again. Call Harbor Freight, wonderful uh, customer service department there. Uh, they called me back and uh, gave them the serial number, which you can find down here. Anyway, that's where you find the number that they need. And uh, this is a 56160 pump, two inch outlet. And I'm gonna order a seal kit for it for 12 bucks. Cool. Uh, all the seal kit goes right in here. That should seal it to this shaft housing enough so that uh, any water that gets past it should leak out of this hole at the bottom. And that should prevent water getting into the motor. At least that's the plan. We'll see. This is, uh, I guess, part one of the Predator 212cc two inch outlet trash pump repair. Have a good day. See ya.